Have you ever wondered what an arrow actually sounds like as it's flying down range? Um, I've been close to arrows that have you know flown by me and you always hear that sound. But what is the difference between a bear shaft to a fletched arrow and to a fletched arrow with like a broadhead on it? Today we're going to find out. I have three of my own personal hunting arrows. Uh, these are Easton Axis 260s. Um, they have 100 grain brass inserts up front and I typically shoot 100 grain broadhead or field point. Um, they have just a, a standard uh, Easton X knock and they're fletched with three inch Q2I Griff X veins. So I have one of them that I stripped the fletchings off and I actually wrapped um, orange electrical tape on and this is going to be our bear shaft. Um, it weighs the same as the others, um, but it doesn't have anything to correct or to make noise in the back. Both of the arrows that don't have a broadhead are going to be shooting 100 grain uh, Saunders combo points as the field point. And for the broadhead, I'm going to be shooting, uh, it's a G5 Montec 100 grain practice head. So it flies just like a regular uh, broadhead, but it's dull. So um, it should provide exactly the same thing. So here's the thing. Every time I see these tests done on YouTube or whatever people talking about it, it's all uh, kind of opinion based. Um, they might record it with a video, but they're using a camera that uses what's called automatic gain control. And what that does is it makes things louder and quieter um, depending on how loud or quiet they are. And that's not what we're going to do today. So today what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a shotgun mic in what's called a blimp. Uh, it's this big thing here and it's going to have a big uh, furry on it called a dead wombat. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to point that microphone, this shotgun, straight up underneath where the arrows are going to fly. And we're going to have it a preset distance. I'm going to shoot from the same spot and I'm going to shoot at the same distance at the same dot, hopefully not destroying my arrows. But essentially what that's going to do is it's going to have the arrows fly over at the same height above this shotgun mic and it's going to record at a consistent gain level. So whatever you hear uh, at the end of this video is going to be what it actually sounds like from the same distance over the same spot. So to make it audible, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot three groups. Um, so bear shaft, fletched arrow and fletched arrow with a fi fixed blade broadhead on it. I'm going to shoot three groups of three and I'm going to take the average. So at the end of this video, what you're going to see is whichever one is loudest, because I'm not sure which one it will be. I'm going to adjust the amount of gain to each audio clip evenly so that the loudest clip is basically peaking right at zero dB. That's the loudest I can make it for this video. So there will be no compression on that track. Um, it's going to be whatever it is and I'll adjust the, the loudest peak up to zero and wherever the other ones fall, um, that's just going to be where they are. And I'll put the decibel level um, on the screen so you can see that and you can also hear it. All right. So if you watch my last video, I set up a bag target about 40 yards away um, right off the back step here. I'm actually not going to shoot the bag. I'm going to shoot a foam block just because I'm going to have a broadhead in the mix. So um, I'm going to set the microphone up basically 20 yards from the bag target, 20 yards from me. It's going to be pointing straight up. And with these shotgun mics, it only picks up what is in this direction. It rejects everything from the sides and the bottom, so it should be pretty clean audio. I'm gonna get that set up, we're gonna get the arrows ready, and we're gonna shoot. Testing. There we go. Okay, here we go. We got the mixer all set up, arrows ready to go. Camera's rolling. First arrow, broadhead. Fletched field point. Last arrow, bear shaft. All right, go pull them, shoot them again. All right, group two, broadhead. Fletched shaft. All right, bear shaft. Okay, here's the final group. This is the broadhead. Fletched field point. Bear shaft. I might do one more just for good measure. My foam target has seen way better days. We're gonna do one final group just for fun. All right, this is gonna be broadhead, group four. All right, this will be the fletched arrow. All right, last arrow, bear shaft. Okay, that's it. The one piece of information I didn't mention before that I should is I'm shooting a Matthew solo cam. It's a switchback model. Yes, it's really old. It's a 30 inch draw and it's set to 70 pounds. Uh, the arrow weight is basically 585 grains. So here's the data. 
after putting everything in the computer and checking out where the volume peaks were, um, I added 20 decibels again, and that brought up the loudest peak, which was actually the very first broadhead shot up to zero dB. So here's the information. From left to right is the groups. So group one, two, three, and the bonus group four. Um, on the top, you're gonna see the broadhead, zero dB, negative one, negative three, zero. Uh, the fletch shaft came in at negative nine, negative eight, negative 14, and negative seven. The bear shaft rounded in uh, at the quietest at negative nine, negative 10, negative nine, and negative 15. To clarify what I'm talking about with the decibels, every time you add six dB of gain, it essentially doubles the perceived volume uh, that you're, you're hearing. So if you go from negative uh, 12 dB, which is 12 decibels under peaking uh, at zero dB, if you go from negative 12 to negative six, you have effectively doubled the volume of that sound. Now let's put this in terms of louder versus quieter. If we look at the averages, uh, if we start with the bear shaft, those four groups, you know, with the human variation of me shooting, uh, it roughly came out to be a, an average of negative 10.75. The fletch shaft came in a little bit louder at negative 9.5 dB. As probably everybody was thinking, the broadhead was the loudest with the average of negative 2 dB. So what does that mean? When we look at the difference between a bear shaft to a fletch shaft, um, both shooting field points, essentially the fletch shaft is only about 40% louder, which was surprising to me. I was really thinking that the bear shaft was just gonna be whisper quiet, and it really wasn't. Um, the fletchings do add a little bit of noise, but that arrow moving through the air is gonna create a noise regardless if it has fletching or not. Now, when you look at the noise that the broadhead is making compared to a fletch shaft, uh, it's about 125% increase from having fletchings with a field point to when you throw that fixed blade broadhead on. Now, when we look at the bear shaft to the broadhead, that's quite a big difference. That's roughly three times as loud. Now to wrap up the video, just so you can have an understanding of what they sound like without other sounds included, I'm gonna take just the sample of the arrow flying without the target being hit, play all four of them in a row, and you can hear the broadhead, the fletched, and the bear shaft. And then we're gonna do them uh, as a group. So broadhead, fletched, bear, and we'll do group one, group two, group three, and group four. And that way you can hear them back to back without interruption. All right, so there it is a test where we captured Aeroflight audio and we don't have to guess as to which one was louder. So if you enjoy the content, hey, hit the like button, subscribe if you would, and most importantly, leave me a comment below and let me know what you would like to see added to the next one of these, whether it's different manufacturer veins, different shafts, a different bow, different broadheads, whatever it may be. I'd love to have the feedback. Thank you for watching. Check back with the next one and good luck hunting this fall.